Hello, and uh, it is time for my monthly reset and my monthly health plan. And uh, I can't believe how close we are to Christmas, but um, let's start this vlog now. So let's start with the November 2023 health plan and monthly reset. And the first point that I had written there was that I should walk at least 10,000 steps on average per day. And uh, this is something that I have accomplished. I have walked at least 10,500 steps according to my iPhone. And uh, I had a goal of um, gymming or running at least uh, 40 minutes each time. And uh, on average, I have been running or going to the gym more than 40 minutes each time. So that is something that I have passed. Uh, there have been like one occasion where I've just forgotten to measure how long I've been at the gym. The next point that I had written down was that I should go running or gymming at least three times per week. And uh, unfortunately, this is something that I have failed because uh, I simply haven't had the energy. Some days I had quite much symptoms of my idiopathic intracranial hypertension. So therefore I have decided not to go to the gym. I have also been a bit um, sick and unmotivated. And uh, next point that is not really related to my disease that I have or physical exercises to go out to stargaze one night. And I sort of did it. I had a plan to go to a specific place, but um, the road was uh, closed. So I couldn't get to that place, but I was out for like uh, five hours one evening at the outskirts of the city, not outside of the city that I wanted to be, but I managed to get some great photos of the sky. So I'm going to add like a couple of photos. And it was actually very fun. And I did this completely alone with my bike and I remember that I was so tired when I came home because I had been on, on my bike for like five hours or something like that. But I had some snacks with me, I had some tea with me and it was just super fun. So actually I think I'm going to say that I have accomplished that. It is something that I would like to do some other day also. So it, it was just a fun experience. I highly recommend it. And the last point is um, something that um, I had just recently decided to discontinue and that is to reduce the amount of uh, antidepressant that I have been prescribed. Let's just say like this, I didn't feel too well with that decision and uh, mentally it, it hasn't been bad, but it's not been perfect either. I have felt some fluctuations in my mood. So basically, I took 20 milligrams every other day and 10 milligrams every other day. And my plan was to go down to 10 milligrams every day of uh, floxetin. That is the name of the medication. But... Uh, I didn't feel well about that, so I have decided this week to actually ramp it up to just take 20 milligrams of floxetine every day. And I think that is linked to my idiopathic intracranial hypertension because I have felt a little bit more of visual uh, obscurations in my eyesight and in my optical field. And I have been a little bit more nauseated the last couple of two weeks and uh, I, had, I haven't had much headaches, but when they have come, they have been quite strong. I remember I did a vlog about that like five days ago, but um, in conclusion, I feel that um, my pressure is not completely perfect at this moment and that affects my hormones and my mood so i think actually for me it is a wise decision to go back to 20 milligrams of fluoxetine per day and 
Remember, I'm not on, on any medication for my idiopathic intracranial hypertension now because my doctor wanted to see how I react to it over a period of uh, a couple of months. What is most important for me with this disease that I have is that I do feel well mentally because that makes me able to function in life and really enjoy life. For me, fluxidin is really, really helpful. And by the way, leave a comment, like this video, hit the subscribe button if you like this video because uh, it really helps me spreading my knowledge about my story and uh, my channel and I really appreciate that. So thank you for that. And uh, let us now continue with the task list for December 2023. The first point that I have written down is uh, that I should continue to exercise three times per week and 40 minutes each time. So basically there is no change from the task list from November. I think that is a reasonable amount of physical exercise for me. And I think that I can be able to do it if I just push through. And uh, if I have a bad day, maybe I shouldn't go run or do some heavy lifting at the gym. Maybe I should do something that is less stressful for me, but still some kind of physical exercise. So uh, next point that I have decided to do is um, I want to try to only eat the vegetarian food at home during December because uh, I'm a bit tired of eating meat and I, I do have some meat in my fridge that I of course will eat up because of environmental reasons. But um, anyway, I saw an interview with uh, a doctor named um, Dr. Sarah Myhill, who specializes in uh, fatigue in chronic fatigue syndrome and I do have fatigue and this interview was basically like one hour and 20 minutes long or something like that I leave a link down below but um, I think that was a pretty interesting um, interview with her because uh, she talked a lot about how food affects our mood and fatigue and uh, our energy levels and I'm always open to try something new so I'm going to try and eat more healthy and because I am quite tired of meat at this moment I'm going to try and eat more vegetarian food. Actually it was very interesting to to listen to that interview. I didn't um, agree with like everything she said but uh, most of it I actually thought was pretty helpful and it actually gave me some insights in what I do eat and uh, I think I do eat too much mass produced food. Yeah if you find that kind of stuff interesting please uh, check the link down below. Her name is uh, Dr. Sarah Myhill and I think she has been doing this kind of thing for like uh, 40 years or something like that. It was, I'm not sure if, if it really was 40 years, but uh, it was a very long time that she had uh, talked about these kinds of things. So it was very interesting. And in general, I do think that we in our Western society do not talk much how actually food affects our mood and our bodies and diseases that we have and I think that is something that uh, you really really need to talk about so therefore I am talking a little bit about it in this vlog. So the next point is uh, just simply book tickets to visit my uh, grandma. She is elderly, she's I think over 95 years old and uh, she was hospitalized uh, a couple of uh, weeks ago She's home now and it's completely fine, but uh, I think that um, she would appreciate a visit. I will not go in December, but I will book my tickets some day in December so I can go and visit her uh, maybe in January or February. She lives in southern Sweden, so it's a bit to travel, but uh, I think she would appreciate that. And I would, of course, also. Next point is... Uh, regarding my economy. 
uh, I think I need to uh, keep a budget and really write down on what I spend money on because uh, that is something that I haven't done before and I think it's good so you just can see and evaluate what you are spending money on uh, and now when I only work 8% I do have a little bit less money left after I have paid all of my my uh, bills and so on and my rent and so on and as I already have mentioned I uh, decided to discontinue to reduce my uh, amount of uh, antidepressants so uh, this month it's, it's actually a goal to continue on the same 20 milligrams of fluoxetine and see how I react to it. I think it's going to do good for me. And the last point that I have written down is um, to apply for a new apartment. And uh, that is a bit linked to my point about keeping a, a budget because uh, my rent is, uh, uh, let's just see, I think it's like 730 US dollars per month in rent for 47 square meters and uh, it's not a cheap apartment but it's okay it's not an expensive either but it i think i want to live in an apartment that has a little bit lower rent because for me it's not important to live in like a flashy apartment and uh, pay much money for my rent i'd rather have much money owe it to do other stuff and uh, live still live in an apartment with uh, like okay conditions and okay standard but it doesn't have to be super flashy and to be honest this is something that i have already started i have started to apply for new, new apartments online but uh, it's very difficult to get an apartment in this city because um, there is really a lack of apartments here I actually really like living in the apartment that I live in now. I absolutely love it. The location is super nice. It's 10 minutes to the city. It's 10 minutes with bike to work. I literally have the uh, forest outside of my window and uh, it's just a super nice place to live in. But uh, I have lived here for seven years and I think it is time to move on to something else and just try and live somewhere else, but still in this city. I really need to go out in this beautiful winter landscape now. Uh, it's super beautiful actually. And uh, I got an appointment with a massage therapist because uh, I've got a sore neck. So I need to fix that and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.